Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, a free site, BettingAngle.us, a free site. It's Friday, September 17th, 2021. Let's talk some baseball, some major leagues, a play I'm about to do. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now I know at first glance, you look at the National League Western division and you see the San Francisco Giants with 95 wins right only 52 losses they sit atop the division behind them you have the Dodgers they're 94 wins 53 losses one game behind the Giants but let's look more closely at these two teams you know what I'm about to do is I believe the Dodgers are the superior team I believe the Dodgers, in part because of their rotation, especially in a short series, are the team to beat in the National League. I think the Giants are giving the Dodgers great cover. Understand, folks, the Dodgers are ending the season strongly, while the Giants have lost two games in a row. The Dodgers have won six games in a row. Right? Let me also point out, too, that if you look at the metrics, the Giants score roughly, on average, 1.3 more runs per game than their opponents. Now, that's a great figure. Not many teams in baseball score more than a run better, on average, than their opponents. But understand, the Dodgers score 1.7 more runs per game than their opponents. In other words, there's a .4 gap between the Giants and the Dodgers. Right, let me also say too that if you look up the last 30 games, not just the last few games I've discussed where the Dodgers have a six game win streak, but if you look up the last 30 games, you're going to find out that the Dodgers have won 23 of their last 30. Right, 23 of their last 30. The Giants have only won 20 of their last 30, right? The Giants also don't stack up with the Dodgers in terms of Pythagorean one-loss record, right? The Dodgers, according to the numbers, should have won 99 games already. They should be 99 and 48, right? By contrast, the Giants, who in the real world are one game better than the Dodgers as I make this video, Pending what happens today on Friday, just understand the Giants should have only won 92 games, not the 99 that the Dodgers have won. So as incredible as this sounds, it's only because the Dodgers have had bad luck that their superior numbers aren't recognized. So, in terms of futures betting, Right? Understand, we have positions on the Giants, the Dodgers, uh, Milwaukee, Houston, right? We have positions on a few teams. But let me just say, from a talent perspective, from a performance perspective, I expect the Dodgers to win the National League. I'm adding to my stake here with about two weeks to go in the middle of September in part because I'm getting good odds on the futures because a lot of people are dazzled by the Giants let me also say too I want you to look at the average age of the respective teams you're gonna find out that the Giants have a lot of age on that roster understand that works during the regular season in the middle of the year because baseball becomes a war of attrition in October in the playoffs you need to be concerned right I'm in the Bay Area people are very excited here I just don't believe the Giants are gonna win the National League I think it's a Dodger year in the NL let me just point out too that I know the Houston Astros only have 86 wins 
but I believe they are a good dark horse in the American League right again because of the metrics that are outside the actual win-loss right understand while the Astros are 86 and 60 if you go by a Pythagorean one-loss analysis they should have won 92 games by now right just food for thought in their last 20 games of course the Astros are 12 and 8 right that's how I see it honorable mention to the Tampa Bay Rays let's just say I don't see the other teams that are gonna challenge those teams right maybe Toronto we'll keep an eye on Toronto they're a dark horse anyway I do think the Dodgers win the National League I'm increasing my futures play on the Dodgers today that's how I see it let me hear from you I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.